This is my presentation on using business visuals. So first, uh, visual organizations and implicity and interactivity. Um, as humans, most of us are visual learners and thinkers. Visuals allow us to send messages quickly and meaningfully. The strategic use of white space and prominent positioning of graphics on a page can attract the and guide the eyes of viewers to the correct data that is important. In most businesses, textual communication elements take a secondary explanatory position. In the business world, we need to be aware of which type of graphics will send the most effective message and which will appeal to our audience. One thing to always keep in mind is that we must lead our audience visually to receive information as quickly as possible. Website visual communication is extremely st strategic. A website must visually attract the viewer's eyes instantaneously. It also needs to use visuals that attract the right audience. Websites need to consider several things when setting up a homepage to communicate quickly and effectively with the target audience. Um, visual designers should consider types of visuals that target audience like to see, such as colors, line space, positioning, images, animation, and social media icons. A medical facility such as the one we are designing may wish to consider a web page, a website homepage that has clean straight lines, open white space, and perhaps blue coloring, such as this one here with the got nice lines, open white space, blue. Um, clean straight lines Clean straight lines appeal to patients who are already tense from illness and are looking for a clean facility that is straightforward. Um, due to stress and impact of illness, they will not want to see a complicated complex design which may cause additional visual tension. Instead, they'll respond well to those open spaces in a visual design. It may also be beneficial to use colors that can be interpreted as calming, such as blue in America that represents a strong, safe, calming response with viewers, while in other countries, it may be interpreted in this positive way also. Um, charts and graphs are also um, helpful. A graphic representation of information, statistical data, a structure, environment, or process. A chart is a specific type of diagrammatic representation of facts. A graph is a specific type of diagram used to indicate relationships between two or more variables, often represented on axles. A map is a specific type of diagrammatic representation used to depict a route or geographic area to show the location, per Robin Landa. Um, so <clears throat> things that this can be used on for this website, um, a graph, or I'm sorry, a map of the location of the medical facility, um, a graph of different kinds of like statistical data of the ages of people that use their facility, the um, male, female, race, etc. <clears throat> um, images. There are many different representational, abstract, or non-objective images in forms of photographs, illustrations, drawings, paintings, prints, pictographs, signs, symbols, maps, diagrams, optical illusions, patterns, graphs, and elements, and marks. Classifying images help you understand how to best depict them to express your concept and meet your communication goal per Robin Landa. So using the photos like these, um, this shows you know, the careers they have available, the different types of jobs you can have there, patients, um, while in an MRI machine, they seem to be comfortable with a nurse and physicians working hard. Same up here, physicians working hard. Um, pictorial screen staples include photography, illustration, icons, symbols, textures, patterns, graphs, charts, maps, animation, and motion 
graphics. Imagery is either created by the designer or commissioned from an illustrator, photographer, or other designer. It may be selected by the designer for the, from the client's archives or purchased from a stockhouse. Um, things to think about when creating or selecting images. Optimizing images, loading time, basic guidelines, uh, margins and padding, consistency such as cropping, silhouette, styles, media, color, and tone, appropriateness of imagery for the design of design concept and brand or entity of publication. So you don't want a random photo of kids playing by the beach on a medical website. Um, size of the image, style and media, consistent visual vocabulary for icons, um, the audience, and how different kinds of imagery communicate for Robin Landa. Thank you.